Okay, so I have a, um, <clears throat> I guess this is a PSA prep video per se. Um, I have a couple of uh, chunks of cards that are going to PSA. They're all hockey. Um, actually, there might be a couple of basketball stickers somewhere in here, but for the most part, it's hockey. The um, it, It's been hard to actually win auctions at reasonable prices uh, in the vintage card market recently. So I've gone to... Uh, you know, I've really focused much more on hockey uh, inserts more than anything else. So I figured it'd be fun to to show a few of these off uh, as I send them in for bulk grading. So who knows when they're going to come back? Um, the Mike Bossy rookie will, uh, you know, obviously that's a it's a pretty nice example. I think uh, you know there, it has an outside shot at a really high grade. Be excited about this. Here's a, um, a Wayne Gretzky 1982 McDonald's sticker that I came across. Um, not in phenomenal shape, right? Got a couple of corner issues, but um, but fun uh, nonetheless. Uh, I have a few of these 93 Dunruss um, Elite Series inserts, right? We got Hull, Wah, a couple of Gretzky's. Those are, uh, you know... Hard to come by in good condition. Most of those are in pretty good shape. They've got um, one of them has uh, has some some flaking, so I, I'm almost debating whether I pull that back. Here's an insert set, the uh, Fleer Hot Numbers. That is, you know, really incredibly hard to pull in packs. Um, this one is from 1994. Um, so you know, really cool. Um, you know, a lot of these, and that, that's what. Uh, really drew me into a lot of these cards that you're going to see is that for them to be pulled from packs back in the day, the odds were like one in, you know, hundreds, right? Whether it's, uh, you know, some are, you know, up to one in like 600 packs or something crazy. I'm not sure how rare these next few are, but um, again, here's a Lemieux Stadium Club Finest insert. I've got, here's a Between the Pipes uh, Martin Brodeur from, I believe it's 96. Really cool stuff. I uh, have a bunch of, oh, I guess not a bunch yet. So there, there are some Bowman bests coming up, but here's a Marc Messier with the uh, coating on from um, 95. So 95, 96. Um, here's a Gretzky die cut. Um, Really enjoy the die cuts too, which are uh, really cool cards. Upper deck freeze frame, Lemieux. You're going to notice a theme, whether it's Lemieux, Gretzky, um, Messier, Brodeur. Lots of uh, obviously the, the legends here. There's not going to be a lot of you know current players. Here are some of the Bowman's best that I was uh, referring to. We've got Brodeur and Sakic um, from the '96 set. '96. 96. And here are some finest um, inserts and sterling inserts. I'm going to sort of lay these out a little bit. I'm going to make sure to not get them out of order. Otherwise, PSA is going to, you know, I'm going to get in trouble with them. So you got Lindros, um, Forsberg. Couple of Gretzky's when he was on the Blues. Not my favorite cards of him, but um, I like them nonetheless. Uh, Pavel Bure, who was just an incredible goal scorer back in the 90s. Uh, Ray Bork, who needs no introduction to hockey fans. And um, Patrick Waugh, much the same. Cool. Here we've got a Tamu Solani hard hat. No, again, the die cuts. I really enjoy these die cuts. This is a Dunross uh, Studio 1997. Uh, Patrick Waugh, hot gloves. I mean, look at that. And again, another die cut. This one, uh, this series, uh, pretty active on auctions. Um, you know, shockingly so. All right, the next few, we've got some um, Pacific Dynagon from 1997, the kings of the NHL. I think, again, these things were like one, you pull one out of every like 288 packs or something ridiculous. Um, and, you know, they're gold foil, they chip easily, so I'm not really sure how these are going to grade, but I have a, a, a bunch that I came, that uh, came pretty cheaply. 
Um, so we're taking the chance. Forsberg, Sackick, Gretzky. Gretzky on the Rangers, which also breaks my heart. Messier, Lindros, Lindros, and Yarmir Yager in a Penguins uniform, as he should be. This is a Dynagon, um, I think it's called a Duos, right? Because it has another card that makes up the left side of the complete picture, Tamo Solane, one of the greatest of all time. These are um, Pacific Dynagon tandems. So this is a Patrick Waugh and Dominic Hasek card. So that's pretty cool um, in that you've got two sides of these. Um, I think the odds of pulling these in packs were you know, I think one in 140 or something like that. Same thing goes here with these uh, Dynagon Blue Ice. Peter Forsberg, Rodor, Yager, and Beret. Good stuff. Um, again, Pacific, back in the late 90s, printed tons and tons and tons of cards, but these inserts were uh, pretty hard to find and don't come up on, uh, on eBay that often. Here's a um, Dynagon Attack Zone Yager. Again, really neato, neat card with you know all the foils and colors. Here are a couple of Panini Select Certified Reds. Um, Brett Hull and uh, Stevie Eiserman. Uh, these are, what is that? 90, yeah, not, still in around the 97 mark. Um, another Eiserman. This is an upper deck. Uh, Black Diamond Premium Cut. Again, that's a, the die cut, which I, I always I think are fun. Here's a uh, Pinnacle One-Timer Gretzky. We'll back that up with a uh, Be a Player Millennium Series uh, in his oil uniform. Makes me feel a little better. But what's cool about these cards um, is that they have the, they sort of have like the historic version of the player, right? Where they're probably most well-known. And then on the back, they had their current teams. So again, Gretzky, current on the Rangers. You see these are numbered uh, to a thousand, but not um, very easy to get on eBay. They do not come up very often. Um, so again, Solani with the, the Ducks and uh, obviously starting with the Jets. These are really pretty cards. They, I guess you know, they're Heritage uh, Ruby series. Um, the Heritage Blue series are uh, numbered like to, I think it's 100. They're virtually impossible to find, but I am on the hunt. Here's, um, you know, Paul Coffey and um, another Gretzky. Again, I turn it over. This is when Coffey was with the Hurricanes. Gretzky was with the Rangers. And a couple of Chelios, uh, again, when he started with the Canadians versus when he was on the Red Wings. And again, you can see numbered to a thousand, but much rarer than that thousand number indicator would, uh, or that thousand number would indicate. Here are a couple of other uh, Gretzky inserts, um, special forces. Now, these guys are really interesting. Um, well, there were there were a couple of basketballs in this in this order. So here are a couple. These are upper deck black diamonds. You can see that this one is called diamond cut, and this guy is called final cut. Um, again, loving the die cut. Um, I think you know this one's not numbered at all. This um, the final cut though. These are numbered out of a um, hundred. And, you know, again, really hard to come by in great condition. You can see that this one has some chipping and whatnot, but um, just hard to come by. So I'm going to send them in for grading and see what we get. These, any of these hockey things that, are, that you're going to see in this video or the next video are much more um, longer term plays for me as opposed to, you know, some of these cards where I'm just grading to get the card back and um, almost immediately sell off to uh, fund future purchases. Here are a bunch of 87 Fleer stickers. Um, I had bought a, uh, a set that was in really uh, good condition. These are the best stickers that I had. Here's a Magic, Hakeem Olajuwon, Kevin McHale, Dominique Wilkins, 
and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The rest of the stickers were pretty off-center and pretty poorly cut. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully you really enjoyed it because the next uh, one of the next videos is going to be another um, hockey uh, insert PSA prep video. Um, the cards are really fun to, to look at, though, so I, I think you should definitely get excited for it. See you again soon. Go Islanders.